This video is about implicit differentiation. It's a hard to get y equals. Then you need to think about implicit differentiation. For example, 3x squared plus y squared minus 4y equals 100. We want to figure out dy by dx. It's hard to figure out y equals. So you need to think about using implicit differentiation to solve this problem. When you use implicit differentiation, if you have x prime, that equals 1. But y prime, you will get 1 times dy by dx. Or you can write down 1 times y prime. For x squared prime equals 2x. But for y squared prime, you will get 2y times dy dx. Or 2y times y prime. If we have x, y prime, remember you will use the product rule. x prime y plus x times y prime. So we have a y plus x times dy by dx. Let's go to number one. Both sides of this equation, we will take uh, implicit uh, derivative. So we have uh, 6x plus 2y times dy by dx minus 4 times dy by dx equals 0. We are solving for dy by dx. This is a linear equation. Isolate dy by dx on one side. Minus 6x both sides. Also, you need to take dy by dx out. So we have uh, dy by dx times 2y minus 4 equals negative 6x. Then divided by 2y minus 4, both sides. Final answer, dy by dx equals negative 6x over 2y minus 4. Let's go to question 2. Both sides of this equation, we will take an implicit derivative. For x squared times y squared, remember use the product rule. x squared prime y squared plus x squared y squared prime plus also product rule. 3x prime times uh, y to the third power plus 3x times uh, y to the third power prime minus 1 equals uh, 0. 2xy squared plus x squared times uh, 2y. Don't forget dy by dx plus 3y to the third power plus 3x times 3y squared dy by dx minus 1 equals 0. We need to solve dy by dx. This is a linear equation isolating dy by dx on the left side. For this, this, and one, we need to cross the river change sign. 
2x squared y dy by dx plus 3 times 3 is 9 x y squared dy by dx equals 1 minus 2xy squared minus 3y to the third power. We will take dy by dx out. 2x squared y plus 9xy squared equals 1 minus 2xy squared minus 3y to the third power. Then we divide it by 2x squared y plus 9xy squared both sides. Then final answer will be dy by dx equals 1 minus 2xy squared minus 3y to the third power over 2x squared y plus 9xy squared. Let's go to number 3. We need to solve for dy by dx. We will use uh, implicit differentiation. We got to use the uh, power rule first. 35 times x to the third power plus 7y squared to the 34th power. Then times derivative of uh, 3x plus 7y squared will be 3x squared plus 14y times dy by dx equals 1. We need to isolate dy by dx. First step, divided by 35 x third power plus 7y squared to the 34th power first. 3x squared plus 14y times dy by dx equals 1 over 35x third power plus 7y squared to the 34th power. Then we need to minus 3x squared, both sides. 14y times dy by dx equals 1 over 35x to the third power plus 7y squared to the 34th power minus 3x squared. Then you need to divide it by 14y, both sides. So 14y, 14y, then dy by dx equals 1 over 490y times x to the third power plus 7y squared to the 34th power minus 3x squared over 14y. Let's go to number 4, sin x squared y to the 4th power equals x. We will take uh, implicit uh, derivative of both sides. Derivative for sine function will be cosine x squared y to the 4th power. Then we need to do the derivative of uh, x squared y to the fourth power equals 1. We got to use the product rule to work this out. x squared y to the fourth power prime equals x squared prime y to the fourth power plus x squared times y to the fourth power prime equals 2 x y to the fourth power plus x squared times 
4y to the third power times dy by dx. So we get cosine x squared y to the fourth power times parentheses 2xy to the fourth power plus 4x squared y to the third power dy by dx equals 1. Divided by cosine x squared y to the fourth power first, because you need to isolate uh, this uh, dy by dx. 2xy to the fourth power plus 4x squared y to the third power dy by dx equals 1 over cosine x squared y to the fourth power. Then subtract 2xy to the fourth power. 4x squared y to the third power dy by dx equals 1 over cosine x squared y to the fourth power minus 2xy to the fourth power. Then we need to divide it by 4x squared y to the third power both sides. Go to denominator 4x squared y to the third power. 4x squared y to the third power. Reduce dy by dx equals 1 over 4x squared y to the third power cosine x squared y to the fourth power minus reduce. y over 2x. Let's go to number 5. For x to the third power y plus x y to the third power equals 10, evaluate dy by dx at the point uh, 1, 2. Find the slope of a uh, tangent line at the point uh, 1, 2. Since it's uh, harder to figure out y equals, we got to use uh, implicit differentiation. x third power y prime plus x y third power prime equals uh, 10 prime. You got to use the product rule for x third power y prime equals x third power prime y plus x third power y prime equals 3x squared y plus x third power times dy by dx. 3x squared y plus x third power dy by dx. Product rule again, x y to the third power prime equals x prime y third power plus x y third power prime equals y to the third power plus x times power rule 3y squared times dy by dx plus y to the third power plus 3xy squared dy dx equals 0. This is a linear equation. Isolate dy by dx on the left side. So we have a x third power dy by dx plus 3xy squared dy by dx equals negative 3x squared y minus y to the third power. Then we take dy by dx out, x third power plus 3xy squared equals negative 3x squared y minus y to the third power divided by x third power plus 3xy squared both sides. 
then we get dy by dx equals negative 3x squared y minus y to the third power over x third power plus 3xy squared. We need to evaluate this dy by dx when x equals 1, y equals 2. Negative 3 times 1 squared times 2 minus 2 to the third power. 1 to the third power plus 3 times 1 times 2 squared equals negative 6 minus 8 over 1 plus 12. Negative 14 over 13. Slope of a tangent line at the point 1, 2 will be negative 14 over 13. Derivative means uh, the slope of a tangent line. 